We're going to take a look at issue 1150 where the death pit slopes don't factor in um, the fact that they're sloped. It, it treats them as if they're a regular flat sector. And there's a really nice demonstration video here that kind of shows what's going on. You see they drop some rollout rocks from the, from the sky and as soon as it hits the top of the slope of that sector it disappears as if it hit the, the death pit. So the game has a function here in pmobj.c called check death pit collide. And one of the first things I notice looking at it is that it looks at the floor height and the ceiling height of the subsector. And is that it looks at the floor height and the ceiling height of the sector. Well, that doesn't factor in the slope in that sector. So that's probably what's going on here. So let's check the floor Z and the ceiling Z. That's for flipped gravity. Instead. And what that is, is that's the floor and the ceiling at the position of that object at the time. That's actually not a good solution, and here's why. Floor Z and ceiling Z is the closest floor and the closest ceiling to the position of the object. So you could have a 3D floor over a death pit, and then this would trigger when the player lands on the 3D floor above the death pit because their Z position will be floor Z, which is the floor of the 3D floor and not the death pit. So we want to be able to check specifically here for the death pit floor. But we were already checking the floor and the ceiling of the sector already, so what do we do here? Well, it turns out there's a couple new functions um, respecting slopes called P, mobs floor C, and ceiling Z. And what that will do is it will look at the slope of the floor or the slope of the ceiling and it will tell you the Z position based on the player's position, also counting in the player's radius. Because when the, an object is standing on a slope, the center of the object isn't directly on the floor of the slope. It's actually on the edge. It's shown in this one little graphic here. That's what this function takes into account. It'll tell you the contact point of the player's rectangle on the slope. Now this function has a lot of different parameters that we don't need and um, what I'll do is I'll leave that up as an exercise to you to look at the definition of these functions to see what we're doing. Um, essentially what we're doing is we're asking it to choose us, give us the contact points. Give us the contact point for the floor and a contact point for the, the ceiling in this sector. And then we'll just adjust these here. And then we should be ready. And we'll head over to here. And it looks like the rock falls all the way down now. Now you notice there's another issue here with um, this 3D floor where it becomes invisible or doesn't appear. I think that's a separate issue related to the way the map is built. So I'll follow up with the submitter of that ticket and maybe we can figure out what's going on there. <laughs> 